Hi everyone, I'm Lorenzo, the Online Programming Coordinator at North York Community House. North York Community House is a neighborhood center that has been working with newcomers and residents in the North York area of Toronto for 30 years. We offer a wide variety of programs to help children, youth, adults, and seniors to settle, thrive, and belong in their new lives in Canada. This is our new video series called Wellness Resiliency, and in this video, we're going to chat with Sharon, one of our wellness ambassadors, about anxious thinking and stressed thoughts. Let's go. Hi, everyone, and welcome back, Sharon, again. <laughs> How are you? I'm doing well, Lorenzo. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. So in today's video, we're going to talk about anxious thinking and stressed thoughts. So Sharon, if, when I think of stress, I see it as something that I cannot control personally. Mm -hmm. Am I right to think like that? It is like a spiral, Lorenzo. You aren't wrong. Um, and it is, is a very common experience for many people. And I can relate to it myself. Um, I can think of times when I was studying in university and I would first start thinking about an assignment that I had due. And then all of a sudden I'm thinking about four assignments. And then all of a sudden... I'm thinking about the friends from those assignments that I need to reach out to. And it is, it now becomes kind of like a spiral. Yeah. For sure. Um, yeah. And do you, um, so is, does this stress have an effect on our body or on our mental, mental? Yes, I guess so. But what, what are the, what, what are the consequences? Uh, absolutely. That's an amazing question. Stress absolutely does have a toll on your body, either in the short term and the long term. Um, oftentimes, stress is trying to signal something in your body. So that's why today we're talking about the importance of recognizing that in yourself, because it is trying to tell you something and give you a message. Okay, I can ask a personal question here. Um, what What are the signals that your body, your, your own body gives you? You mentioned signals, so. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so one of the signals that most people start to experience is sweaty, sweaty hands sometimes. You can start to feel your hands getting a bit sweaty. Um, you feel your heart rate start to beat, even if you're just sitting in one place. Um, and like we uh, spoke about earlier, your thoughts kind of stop being more connected and they start kind of just rolling down. And they don't, aren't now connected thoughts, they're more stressed thoughts. So feeling those or understanding those signals is really important, but for everyone, it looks very different. So when you start to feel a little bit of a hint of stress, um, it's important to start asking yourself, where in my body am I starting to feel this? Because you'll be able to recognize next time what that looks like when you are personally stressed. Mm -hmm. You mentioned sweaty palms, sweaty hands. Yeah, I, personally, I start to bite my nails, like, and I, yeah. and I can feel, I know that I'm, and I cannot stop it. Like, yeah, absolutely. So mm -hmm. it's definitely not about like trying to control that behavior, but also just trying to recognize it and, and that it's happening, right? So you're understanding, you know what, Lorenzo, I feel stressed right now. Okay, Lorenzo's stressed. I'm biting my nails. You have, you have a bit of more of a recognition there. And that's when you can start to change the behavior once you can recognize. Yeah, yeah. Change the behavior, maybe tweak the behavior, right? Exactly. We don't have to. Exactly. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And um, and why is it important to talk about stress, Sharon? I think it's a really, really important that we continue with these conversations about stress because a lot of studies have now shown that stress, chronic stress, the long-term stress has a really, really harsh effect on your body. So in the day-to-day -day life, it can lead to digestive issues, and it can lead to loss of sleep. Um, high blood pressure, and in a more severe sense, it could lead to a lot of heart failure, heart attack, a lot of cardiac arrest due to stress because your heart's beating and heart is always working in a way mm. that it's not meant to work before. Wow, this is useful. And what's your final message for our audience? My final message is do not stress or try not to stress about stress. Um, the first step, as we spoke about, is to recognize it. And often, if you share with your loved ones your goals or what you're challenged by, let them know um, why you're trying to reduce this. And often, they can try to be people of support to you. So if you can reach out to your loved ones and your support network to share your goals about trying to reduce this stress, that can be really, really helpful. And you're not 
only having to work on that alone. Yeah, I like I like a support network, a reliable support network. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And yeah, the the question for our audience is, how do you deal with anxious thinking? And let us know in the comments. And Sharon, thank you again for being here with us and share your uh, knowledge with us. Thanks for having me, Lorenzo. I'll All see right. you soon. Take care. Bye. 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 Thank you.